So one more quick lesson to go over how important the X method is for dividing space in perspective. So if you recall in my railroad track lesson, I got a lot of questions about how this could be applied um, to say a row of uh, telephone poles or fence posts, etc. How would you do this? So here I am, I've got uh, two lines receding towards the vanishing point and I set up my first two posts and they are going to help me determine the distance of the next two posts. So to find the center between those two posts, you could measure vertically um, or you can draw an X and the X of course gives you your perspective center of that sort of plane or that space between the posts and you can draw a line from that all the way to the vanishing point. The next step is crucial here. Uh, this is the same as in the railroad tracks method. So from the bottom corner uh, nearest you, you go through the middle of the next post and where it hits the top perspective line, that is the location of the next post and so on and so forth, exactly like the railroad trick. So let's say you want to establish the depth of one of those posts or you want to say put windows in the side of a wall. Well then the next step in this process is draw X's in the spaces between all of the posts or vertical elements that you've already drawn. Once you've got those X's, simply arbitrarily set up the diameter, the width that is of the first post in the sequence. And where it intersects that X, draw a line receding towards the right hand vanishing point. And now where it intersects every diagonal of every X, you have the width of the posts getting narrower as you get closer to the vanishing point. It's really that simple. And if you have your line turn the corner every time it meets one of the diagonals of the X, then you'll have perfectly spaced windows as well.